this video shouldn't be long but it is going to be very informative as you can see here this is a hp prime this is the first gen first revision i can tell by uh, the color of the keyboards here the revision c and d have uh, a much darker blue shade and also if you take a close look at the serial number only uh, the gen gen one start with a three okay so i've had this for i can't remember maybe less than a year for sure maybe five months five six months i can't remember but uh it will not fully boot so i don't have any battery inside of it and i'm not gonna put any here but as you can see if i plug plug it in i get like a, a flash like a tenth of a second and then uh this is what i get as you can see he he goes into boot loop so i have tried literally everything you can possibly think of the only thing i haven't tried is taking it apart and try to mess with the component because i honestly don't know how to do that and uh, even if i did i don't have the tools to do that and after trying everything that i tried i came to the conclusion that this is there is no way in hell this is uh, a software related issue this has to be hardware there is no way this is software it's just I just would I just don't want to believe this is software at this point okay so it is very easy to get to uh, recovery mode you press the symbol key and reset button let go of the reset and now I am in recovery as you can see I unfortunately cannot do anything about the brightness because the calculator is just not gonna work okay so it keeps disconnecting I'm just gonna set this aside here, okay? So I'm gonna boot, boot into recovery once again. I'm in recovery. Okay? The calculator is in recovery mode as you can see. So I'm gonna open up my connectivity key. Like I've literally tried everything you can possibly think of. Even the connectivity kits has all the access you can think of. It's not being blocked by Windows Defender or anything. I went to Windows Defender and made sure that I gave the connectivity key all the privileges you can think of. You know, all the privileges, everything is check, 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 allow, allow, allow. Okay. So as soon as you open the connectivity key, it recognizes the calculator and uh, it prompts you to update it. Okay. So we are gonna do that. Update. Okay. Verify. Yes. Okay so everything is fairly fast as you can see it is going through the update everything is gonna go through just fine but for some reason it just won't it just won't boot <laughs> it just gets stuck into boot loop and this recovery mode is at the version v16 i guess that stands for version 16 bootloader I've tried I've tried them all. This is the latest software by the way. Okay, so it just started as you can see. Yeah, it's just gonna keep doing what it was doing before. Over and over and over again. You know. I've tried different software, I've tried different uh, version of the firmware, you know, the first the very first firmware from 2013. I've tried them all 15, 2016, 2018, 2019. You know, there isn't anything you can think of that I haven't tried. Okay, another way to uh, deal with this problem would be to press the combination C F O and reset it. C F. Let's see. It's really hard to do this with, uh, especially behind the camera. So I'm gonna so anyways you gotta press C F O and then uh reset okay I'm gonna try and do that okay so if it's successful then uh you get to this option and here uh the uh guide that I found online 
suggested that I did this so many times. You press FLS utility four, and then uh, formatted disk. That should that is supposed to wipe everything on the calculator, except for the firmware, of course. Okay, and this check mark says we're good to go. So you press Escape and nine to reset it. You know, and it's supposed to boot to the home screen, but obviously it's not gonna do that. As you can see, it's still in boot loop. And uh, yeah, I've literally tried everything you can think of. I've tried this with the battery on, I mean with the battery inside of it. I've tried without the battery. You know, I, uh, <laughs> I don't even know what else I can do. So at this point, I'm convinced it is here something with uh, the chip. Something is corrupted within the chip itself. So there really isn't much I can do. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, you can't just uh, pick up uh, a motherboard for this thing online. That is not going to work. And uh, if I am lucky enough, I might find one with a broken screen, but uh, with a good board that I can just uh, swap. And uh, I've been to one of these before. The screen is actually uh, easy to, uh, not easy, well, but this, yeah, compared to other ones, the screen is fairly easy to uh, replace. You know the screen comes off it is glued to the motherboard though, so you can take the motherboard off and just replace the, the, the screen itself there are some connectors some little Lego connectors that are used for this uh, for the screens and other components so yeah that is that yeah I think that's about it yeah it's just gonna keep doing this forever I even I let it say overnight doing this and nothing works you know I've tried uh, removing the battery let it sit for like days month went by and uh, still nothing so yeah this is just uh, the way it is and uh, whatever I do it just doesn't work see let me reset it one more time reset it I've tried different firmware I've tried, I've tried, I've tried everything and this is a known issue no one can no one can uh, no one has been able to fix it well, I don't want to say no one has been able to fix it, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't seen any uh, guide online that, uh, that actually shows how to fix this, but I believe it's, uh, it's hardware. If any, any, anyone has any idea, yeah, I would be glad to hear it. I'm not really expecting much. I'm probably just going to keep this for parts. You know, you never know. I might come across one with uh, a bad screen and I can use the display. The keys are really good. The case is good. So, yeah, that is that. Hope, uh, hope you learned something in this video. If you did, then uh, I'm glad I was able to help.